This circuit uses a zener diode over here to create a regulated output voltage. During startup, this voltage will start to build up. This R1 will make sure that Q1 is conducting by holding the base of Q1 to the power supply over here. This transistor is conducting in this direction and this voltage also starts to build up. We have a feedback network over here with R2 and R3. Half of the voltage will get to here and this base cannot go above 5 volts. We have a zener diode here which is holding this point to 4.3 volts. We have a VBE drop over here of 0.6 volts and that gives us 5 volts at this junction over here. So as soon as this point reaches 5 volts, you will get more conduction through this path and you will get more current going through this resistor which will create a larger voltage drop on the resistor. The voltage drop over here is fixed to 4.3 but the voltage over here is also fixed and that's due to this point over here. So if you have 10 volts on this side you're going to have 9.4 volts on this side. Now what you can do is introduce another resistor which I'm going to label again as R4 and what this resistor does is maintain the zener diode in its saturated phase. You have something like this where you have the voltage across the zener diode over here and the current through the zener diode over here. So this is going to be approximately 0.7 volts if it's a unidirectional zener diode. This point over here is your breakdown voltage and you can see that the voltage across the zener diode doesn't increase as much until you get to the breakdown voltage over here. So now this current may be approximately 1 milliamp or something like that. So you can look at some zener diode characteristics to see what that actually is going to be. And essentially what you are trying to do is avoid this section over here. So you can see on my simulation, the voltage goes from zero volts to 25 volts with the gray line over here. And I can show you the voltage across R4 on this circuit. So just be careful with the references. We can have a look at our output voltage, which is going to get fixed at 10 volts. At this stage, you'll see that R4 voltage is not very high and there is not a lot of current going through it. So you can see it's less than one milliamp over here. And I can show you the current going through R7, which basically creates a little bit of current. You can call it a current floor, I guess, just before the conduction properly starts up. A lower voltage or input voltage, so around five volts, the extra resistor passes current through it before R4 gets a chance to pass this current as well. So this creates a little bit of a flaw for the zener diode to be in the conduction stage. So the purpose of introducing this resistor is to make sure that the zener current does not fall below the regulation threshold. It also improves sensitivity to R1 size and load changes. A huge thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description for high quality PCBs.